yo back at it again with another movie review i have my boa morticia okoye's running around the, the yard but let's get this review started now i've usually have my ball pythons with me but today i got morticia the boa because i am reviewing the adams family now if you've seen the previous video part one with my nieces they gave their honest review of the movie very short and simple but now here is mine so let's go somewhere and place this tripod down so i can share some of my quick thoughts on the mood the new reincarnation of the adam family so how do I feel? Well, first of all, the movie stars Oscar Isaac, Charlize Theron, um, Finn Will Wilford, I think that's his name, from Stranger Things, Chloe Grace Moretz, um, Nick Kroll, and a slew of other celebrities. So, for me personally, I love the casting. The casting was incredible. Voice acting, amazing. Um, they couldn't have cast a better crew of people to play those characters animation great spot on i believe the studio who did this is mgm um their animation pretty good pretty good not disney or dreamworks but it wasn't cheap or shitty now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am a huge huge adams family fan i named my snake after my favorite member of the Adams family, Morticia. Um, so when the trailer first came out, I thought the trailer was a hot mess. I was very disappointed and I felt like we were going to get another emoji movie, basically. Super scared that that was going to be the case, but it did not. Now, I'm, what I'm about to say may sound like a jab. It may sound negative, but it's not. Is actually positive because and the reason why I'm about to say what I'm about to say is because I want more of the Adams family uh, from these writers directors and stars this belong on Netflix this belong on Hulu this belong on Amazon Prime not the movie theaters because and it, to me honestly it didn't even belong to be a movie it should have been a tv show a mini series even if they can only get these celebrities for eight episodes do it get it for eight episodes because it was so freaking good i wanted more of the adams family um and the plot very simple this movie was made for kids my nieces are don't don't four and six and this movie was made for their age group it wasn't made for millennials wasn't made for gen x or any of us older people in our 20s and 30s um who know the the other adams family movie it was made for kids very small kids and so you know the story plot everything the villains are going to be simple oh sorry <laughs> um and but that's not a bad thing movies kids should have their own movies that only they like but it they had some great jokes in there for adults they had one joke that had to do with thing the hand that was very adult like in the beginning of the movie and i laugh my ass off i laugh so loud that my nieces turn around like what the hell is wrong with you um but you know those adult oriented jokes those little that keep that go way over kids heads super funny so i'm not so even though this movie is just for kids adults the parents who take their kids go see this movie will enjoy it so it's not going to be like one of those children movies where you just slap it on and walk out the room like you will enjoy it if you take your kids go see it but like i said i feel like this deserved netflix or hulu or amazon prime disney plus you know but um but they're number two at the box office so people went to the theater to go see it and it's the perfect it's the perfect 
cross promotion movie because we're in October, Halloween, scary movies. People are gonna see scary movies. People are gonna see movies like The Joker. They're gonna see movies like Maleficent. Let the babies have something that they can go see on a weekend and enjoy this month of October for dressing up. Um, and so, yeah, a very good movie. Um, I stand by what I said. It deserved to be on streaming sites instead of theaters. It deserved to actually be a TV show instead of a movie um, because the subplots were more like TV show episodes. But it was still enjoyable, still good. We laughed our asses off in the theaters. My nieces enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Other adults in the theater, like, we were just all laughing from beginning to end. And so, very good. I give it eight out of 10 stars ranking eight out of 10 very good i would recommend it take your kids to go see it if you got little babies you got little demons like around elementary school take them to go see it and you'll enjoy it so that's it for this review i'm out tish